After three years of secrecy, Boeing Defense rolled out a new single-engine, twin-tail, high-wing training jet at its St. Louis headquarters on September 13th. The U.S. manufacturer and its Swedish partner Saab have nearly completed two of the jets to compete for the U.S. Air Force's TX Advanced Training Jet Competition to find a replacement for the T-38 fighter trainer. We wanted to prove to the world that we had gone through the design, development, manufacturing um, effort to be able to produce multiple aircraft, to have aircraft ready to reduce risk for the customer, and to show that we're ready to go, and that this isn't just a prototype. These aren't prototypes. These are our first two jets for the program, and it's critical that we show that because we're competing against off-the-shelf airplanes, and we're just as low risk as they are. Four of the things that we were thought were key for an advanced trainer was it has to be safe, it has to meet the customer requirements, it has to be maintainable for the maintainers, and then it also has to have growth because this is going to be in the fleet for decades. The new single-engine jet is powered by the GE Aviation F404 GE402 afterburning turbofan engine that powers the Boeing FA18 C and D Hornet. Boeing has suggested that it is responsible for the wings and the tail, which resembles that of the F18. Other features are drawn from Saab's JAS-39 Gripen, including various internal subsystems. The Boeing Saab jet is arrayed against the new GE F404-powered jet built by Northrop Grumman's Scaled Composite subsidiary. The T-50A, advanced by Lockheed Martin and Korea Aerospace Industries, and the Alenia Airmachi M346 Master, proposed by Raytheon and Leonardo. As an aircraft manufacturer, we don't get to do this every day. And so there's a large team of people that were part of this and got a chance to show the world what we could do and that we're the right choice for the Air Force. Boeing says that the two jets will participate in a flight test program that should begin before the end of the year.